Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Tamas sharing all my thoughts on fashion, lifestyle, and anything else that comes to mind. Okay, we are absolutely giving full on YouTuber. I got a mic and I've been doing like the thumbnails now because like, to be honest, I've been kind of lazy. But now that I do the thumbnails and I have a mic and everything, like I legitimately feel like a full on YouTuber, so I'm super excited. For this week's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my tips on building a uniform wardrobe. So I don't know if you guys saw this week's shorts. But I did a lot of content on my collection with my Hamplisse Isamiyake outfits. And I showed you guys how to like wear them in really versatile ways, whether you're like going out for lunch or you're doing something formal. So I thought I would share with you guys my personal tips on how to build like a uniform wardrobe. So if you are buying a lot of expensive clothes like I am, you can really get the most use out of all your pieces. First of all, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you want to see more of me. I'm always yapping on stories. And as always, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys' support. So let's get straight into the video. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my outfits with my Ampliste collection here or here just because I want to share with you guys like how versatile these pieces are really for me and to show you guys that if you really do find the correct pieces for your uniform you can literally just wear them day in day out so i'm going to be sharing with you guys my outfits on the screen while i'm talking as well okay here is step number one on how to build a uniform wardrobe and number one would be find pieces that work for your body percy for me i am tall but i'm also not like the most fit which is funny because like i actually work out like five times a week if you can call it like thick like i do have like thick thighs i have a big butt I am tall, but I do find in my stomach area, I do have like a little bit of like, I'm not like the fittest or like the tonest. I do kind of find it a challenge to find clothing, especially in the designer space. This is why I love the Amplice. It's loose, it's comfortable, it doesn't like stick to my skin. Personally, I don't love clothing that is really like tight because I don't think it's very flattering for my body. So for you to find your uniform, you really have to know your body types. If you were a little bit bigger, which I'm not saying is bad or not, I probably wouldn't be wearing tight clothing just because you are gonna feel self-conscious day to day. For example, sometimes if I wear a tight t-shirt, I feel self-conscious when I'm at work because you can kind of see like my stomach and everything. So you really have to get to know your body and really kind of like compliment it, never go against your body. But again, if you feel like you don't like stuff that brings attention to your butt, then you probably shouldn't be wearing tight jeans or tight pants. So really know and find clothing and pieces that really benefit your body and don't go against it. Number two is to pick neutral colors. I know I say this a lot in like my fashion tips and style tips is to pick neutral colors. And the only reason that is, is because you really want to get the most use out of all your pieces. I personally have a wardrobe that is like 99% designer. So I get really, really annoyed at myself when I like buy something and I don't get a lot of use out of it. This is why my uniform, which is Hamplisse, is mostly blacks, creams, grays, and blues. Because I know that not only will it go together with each other, it will also go you know, with the rest of my wardrobe, which is like the point. I also think like picking neutrals is very specific to your personality and your style. I know some people that their neutral is like the color brown. They just look amazing in the color brown. They don't wear anything else for them. So that can be the neutral for you. If your neutral is to wear the color pink every single day, then that's your neutral. As long as you know that that piece will become versatile and will really, really do well in your wardrobe so you can wear it day to day, then that can be your neutral. Another benefit of having a uniform, which I personally like, is that it gives you like kind of a personal brand without you having to share that with people. For me, because I'm wearing Amplice day to day, I find that people really get to know me as like the pleats guy or whatever, or like the Issa Miyake guy. I really like giving that kind of like professional personal branding when you're like walking into a room or you're meeting people or you're meeting up with friends at night. If your vibe is that you wear cowboy hats and you wear fringe leather jackets every day, you will be known as a guy that wears cowboy hats and fringe jackets every day. I think it's important in like every day, especially now, if you are kind of in like the social media space or you're in the public space, to always have that kind of personal branding. And I feel like having a uniform really brings you into that personal branding. Like remember Steve Jobs, RIP? He would always wear that black turtleneck, you know? Like for me, I don't wear turtlenecks. I think they look terrible on me. But for Steve Jobs, they look flattering on him and they looked great on him. But it was also like a personal branding. Having that piece in your wardrobe that is like, known to you and your personality, I think is very important. Number three in finding a perfect uniform is to pick 
fun or accessories. Inevitably, when you're used to a uniform and you're wearing it day to day, your inspiration might falter from days here and there. Personally, there are days where I feel really inspired and I wanna wear my more high fashion pieces, so obviously I'm not gonna wear my like, complice, but there are going to be days when you get absolutely bored of your uniform. This is how you're gonna move past that is with like fun accessories. So for example, if I'm wearing the complice t-shirt and like the pants, I'm gonna wear a fun shoe like the Marnie slippers, which I'm showing you in the outfit here, because it adds that fun and like flair to the already kind of like boring outfit personally i don't find boring to be a negative adjective i just think like with a uniform there are going to be days when you're uninspired you're so bored of wearing that but if you pair it with like fun or accessories like a bright bag a hat some cool jewelry or like fun shoes like i'm doing it here then you can really move past that if you're investing in your uniform then you can also have fun with fashion and play around with like fun accessories you don't have to buy like a purple shirt but you can buy like purple shoes a purple bag or like a purple hat it's less of that danger to like kind of waste your money and accessories because a purple bag you can absolutely get wear of that every single day you can wear like a cream suit and have a purple bag and it looks put together you know pick something that is like fun and kind of like indulgent you know i know right now with the economy and the recession and i always tell you guys to shop smart i also think it's important to have like a little bit of fun i have pieces that maybe i wear three times a year or like maybe less than five times a year but i just really really love them and they make me happy in my wardrobe and i know in that time that it was like a good purchase to make because i'm gonna look back on that piece in like years to come and really be like that was a fun piece and i'm kind of bored of my uniform i can go back to that and kind of wear that for like the day there are some times during the days that you can have fun and really indulge in those fun accessories another plus of having like a uniform which i wrote down here is that it allows you to hide in a safe space we go through days where we don't feel confident or we don't feel sexy or we don't feel like really enough and i feel like having a uniform allows you to kind of like close the blinds and really hide yourself in that like in the norm that you are used to you know so if i'm not feeling confident in a day i'm gonna throw on my pleats t-shirt and pants and i can confidently walk out the door and know that at least my outfit is going to be well received you know as much as i talk about personal style and really getting to own your own style i think the people's perception really does like affect you and if you aren't feeling well that day i feel like a uniform is like a great safe bubble where you can like kind of hop in and be like at least i feel good about the way i look and my outfit so if your uniform is a white long sleeve shirt and blue levi's 501s when you are not feeling confident you can just throw that on maybe you'll throw on like a vest over it or like a sweater and you at least feel confident about your outfit that uniform not only saves you time but also allows you to live in like a safe bubble where you know you can at least if you're not confident about something else about your weight your haircut like i was last week at least you know that your outfit is like giving it for that you know another perk of having a uniform obviously as i just mentioned it is time saving you know i always think of people that work in like luxury boutiques like gucci or balenciaga or whatever where they have like a uniform every single day that they have to wear and i'm kind of jealous because like even this morning i was like about to film and i'm like oh, what should i wear like it took me like 20 minutes it's like such a waste of time but a uniform really kind of like hunkers the time down it's like it takes you five minutes because like these pieces i can literally wear a hundred different times like that's what i really like about like a uniform is that the possibilities and styling combinations are pretty much like endless you know the most expensive thing we have you guys is time as someone who like works a full-time job and also makes videos time is like the biggest luxury we have you know and the last point for a uniform is to invest in high quality pieces only when you are sure that they are going to be part of a uniform so i always see on instagram these like kind of the row girlies like who are just like only wear the row they are confined to the brand they wouldn't dare wear anything else the row tends to be really 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 expensive but i think a lot of these clients that buy the row are very loyal to the brand and they definitely see it as like a uniform so only invest in designer or expensive pieces when you know you're going to get a lot of use out of them or they're going to be part of a uniform if your uniform is like blue jeans then maybe you can invest in like bottega veneta jeans like i'm wearing here you can invest maybe a thousand dollar jeans because you know that the cost per wear will 100 percent be there if you are starting in your style journey or your personal style journey and you don't exactly know what looks the best on you or what fits your personal style i wouldn't recommend buying designer stuff that is very very expensive because you are going to be left with pieces in your closet that you literally have no idea how to style because six months ago you thought they were cool and now you're like waking up this morning and you're like literally what the f was i doing 
So only really invest in high quality or expensive pieces when you know that they're going to be absolutely part of your uniform. And you guys, personal style takes time. Like for me, how I dressed 10 years ago is not how I dress now, thank God. But personal style really takes time. Like six years ago, I thought Amiri was like the coolest brand. Now, when I ever put Amiri on my body, probably not. So I sold all my stuff. But it's like, you do lose money over time when you have pieces in your closet that you like don't wear. So only invest in high quality pieces when you know it's right. If your uniform is a white t-shirt and black pants, Go to Uniqlo, buy like the $45 t-shirts, buy like the $60 like trousers that I wear all the time. That's like a $100 outfit that you can really explore and figure out different ways to style it. So you're not really breaking the bank. And then if you think, oh, like black trousers are really, really part of my uniform, then you can start to look at like our legacy, Saint Laurent, like who makes like really nice black trousers, I don't know. I don't really own black pants, but uh, Celine makes really nice black pants. Then you can kind of move into like the luxury aspect of it. Okay guys, that's kind of it. I feel like I just like rambled to you guys for like 20 minutes. I don't know, I'm gonna edit this and kind of like make it seem more coherent because I feel like I literally was just like talking to you guys. I personally think that a uniform is really, really important for anybody who has personal style. Not only does it save you time in the morning, I think it's great personal branding for your own style and aesthetic. And it also just makes it easier to get dressed in the morning. It's also like fun. Like I love having like my home plus collection and I love just like opening my box. Here, I'll show you. I can't show you cause I'm gonna knock the camera over, but I literally have a box of all my pleats and I'll just like dump it on my bed. And I'm like, okay, today, what combination are we doing? Am I gonna pair the vest with the t-shirt under and then the pants or I can wear like these blue jeans with the vest like I'm doing now. It's just like fun. So I'm a big advocate for having a uniform in your style. And that doesn't mean you, can, you can't you can defer from it. Like when you're going to like a party and you're wearing like a full shiny suit, there are days where you're gonna feel like you wanna have like fun and fashion. And I think that's really important because I love fashion. And I have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that are just like silly and fun. And I'm gonna wear them three times a year, but it's like so much fun to have them in my closet. I just think it's like a balance of having like a uniform and more like seasonal fun pieces in your closet. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video, guys. Hopefully I am helping you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys like these kind of like educational, fun videos, or you guys want me to talk about pop culture or whatever. I feel like I like to switch on and off. So like last week I was talking about like the Birkin scandals and like shopping. And then this week I'm gonna give you guys like an educational video. Next week I might yap about something else in pop culture. So let me know what you guys wanna see. I really appreciate you guys tuning in every single week. Literally, it makes me so happy that you guys are loving the videos and like the content and everything. So I'm very grateful to you. Also, I'm, I'm trying to like not swear because I feel like YouTube really hates when I swear. So like when I say stuff, I mean the other S word, you know? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.